Hi, this is Vincent, and welcome to Right of Way, a vlog about traffic, transport, and road safety. For those of you who watch the vlog regularly or follow me on Twitter, you'll know I've been especially hard on the MMDA for their road signs, their pavement markings, and in many cases, the way they enforce traffic rules. Well, today, I'd like to focus on six areas when the MMDA actually took corrective action especially with regards to the road signs and pavement markings. I'll focus on a very specific area of Katipunan between the MWSS complex near UP all the way to gate 3 of Ateneo. I'm focusing on this area because I think this is where most of my tweets are, uh, are focused on. So let's take a look at six times where the MMDA actually took corrective action. One of the earliest corrections I noticed that the MMDA made was here along the stretch of Katipuna and southbound, right behind UP, near the MWSS. On the leftmost lane, there used to be a pavement marking here. That point, it was an arrow that pointed straight and right. This was on the leftmost lane. That pavement marking didn't make any sense. It was right before the U-turn slot that's right behind me. The arrow should have been straight and pointing left, indicating that there was a point where you could actually make a, U a left or a U-turn. I don't have a picture of it since they changed it many years ago, but what I do have is a picture and a diagram that I took when I tweeted and pointed this out to the MMDA many years ago. You'll notice that the old marking was straight and right. Again, that made no sense in this particular stretch of Katipunan, given that it was on the leftmost lane and it was right before a U-turn slot. What I told them was that they should correct this and instead make it a straight and left or U-turn arrow. They eventually changed the arrow. We're here in Katipuna northbound, right before gate 3 of Ateneo. There used to be a conflict between the road sign and the pavement marking. The road sign used to say, right lane must turn right, which conflicted with the pavement marking, which showed a straight arrow and a right turning arrow. The MMDA has since changed the sign to this one. So now there's no conflict between the sign and the pavement marking. I'm here on Katipunan southbound, again near gate 3 of Ateneo. In a previous episode, and in a series of tweets and in an email, I pointed out to the MMDA that there was a conflict between the way their enforcers manage the intersection and the pavement markings. On the second to left lane, as you approach gate 3 southbound, there was a left only arrow. And yet the MMDA enforcers allowed vehicles in this lane to proceed straight. I pointed out that this conflict needed to be resolved. Either the forces had to enforce the left only lane or they had to revise the pavement marking. What they did was they revised the pavement marking in the second to left lane to allow for not only left turning traffic but also through traffic. And they also adjusted the overhead sign at the same intersection. Now, the conflict doesn't anymore exist. We're here along B. Gonzalez, near Katipunan Avenue, near the Merriam College main gate. In 2014, the MMDA opened up this intersection. When they opened the intersection, they installed traffic lights. And at this portion of B. Gonzalez, they put a left turning arrow. A left turning arrow indicates that you can only make a left turn. I clarified this with them in a series of tweets and emails. And they said to me that a left turning arrow indicates that only left turns can be made. So I pointed out to them that there seemed to be a conflict between their left only arrow and the practice of vehicles going straight and right. In fact, there was no problem with vehicles going straight and right because precisely they opened up the intersection with a traffic light. It's a good thing that the MMDA 
responded to my emails and tweets, and they actually removed the left turning arrow. So now it's clear. I'm here in Katipunan, northbound, approaching CP Garcia, also known as the Peripheral Road of UP. In 2014, when the MMDA reopened the intersections at Gate 3 of Ateneo and the main gate of Miriam College, they designated the two left lanes here as U-turn only lanes. They indicated this by three signs. Two signs stood on the center island that separated the northbound and southbound traffic. The third sign stood at the beginning of the orange barricades that separated the U-turning traffic from all other traffic. I pointed out that their signs were a bit problematic. If you were traveling on the second to left lane and there was a car next to you on your left, it's quite possible that that vehicle on your left would obscure the signs that stood on the center island. You could completely miss those signs. The third sign, which stood at the beginning of the orange barricades, was so small, you could only read it when you were about 20 meters away from it. When you're traveling at 40 kilometers per hour, 20 meters is not enough time for you to detect recognize, decide, and respond to the sign. So that sign was basically useless. In response to my emails and tweets, the MMDA made an adjustment. They installed two large signs on the pedestrian footbridge in front of Miriam College that indicated that the two left lanes were for U-turns only. And according to them, this sign was about 400 meters away from C.P. Garcia. 400 meters is enough time for motorists to detect, recognize, decide, and react, and move into the correct lane. They also added two more U-turn signs right behind me on this pedestrian footbridge near the Patron gasoline station. Again, this is another example of where the MMDA actually responded and corrected a shortcoming in their signage. We're back here again in Katipunan, in the stretch right behind UP near MWSS. This is the latest corrective action that I noticed that the MMDA has taken. If you'll remember, in one of our previous episodes, I made a big deal about a huge, lengthy sign aimed at motorcycles, asking them to shift lanes, or asking them to signal when they're shifting lanes. That sign used to be right here not here anymore. Now, I don't know if the MMDA removed it because I made a big deal of it, or they removed it, bit, they removed it because they found it useless. For whatever the reason, they removed it. And I think that's a good thing because that sign just distracted motorists. So there you have it. Six instances where the MMDA actually took corrective action. Now, whether they did it in response to me, or they did it on their own, it doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is, they corrected the errors. And for that, they should get credit. But if I may be allowed to turn my harsh mode back on again, those errors should not have occurred in the first place. I think MMDA really has to improve the way it does road signs and pavement marking to make sure that they are clear, they are consistent, and they conform to DPWH standards. In the future, I hope to work with the MMDA, the DPWH, the Kessler City Hall, the UP National Center for Transportation Studies, and other agencies and organizations to, like, to look at this stretch of Katipuna and pilot test it to upgrade the road signage, the pavement markings, and even the way they manage traffic in the area. It's important to me because I live in the area, but it's also important to a lot of people who come through this area. Those who go to UP, Miriam, Ateneo, the commercial establishments like UP Town Center, or the others located on Capipunan Avenue. We need to fix these road signs and pavement markings 
so the rules are clear to everyone. So that's the end of this episode of Right of Way. Again, if you have any photos, videos, ideas, or suggestions, you can email them to us at rightofway at rappler.com or you can send us a message through Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at rightofwayph. Until then, this is Vincent. Stay safe on the road, guys.